Hello, I am Jody Wolf. You're watching Expose on March 9, 2016, 8.57 p.m. in Birmingham. And the topic is too many dreams and visions are pointing at the very near future of beginning and entering into the seven-year tribulation. That's at best. We might already be in it. But I've got an unfortunate problem right here is because I cannot get to my email. And my email is where I send all my notes, and that's where I read them. And if anybody's got Yahoo, you're having the same problem, I guess. But I've got over 120 that are locked up. That uh, Anyway, I, let me get on by that. Let me tell you about what this boy is saying. This boy has been interviewed, his name is Nathan, okay, by a rabbi, a very prominent rabbi. And uh, he died for 15 minutes on the Feast of Sakat, or the last blood moon, which is September the 28th. And he's from a secular family, but during the time he was dead, he was shown the future of Israel in the end time visions. His own, his own parents did not raise him to be religious, disapprove or of his vision, and then say he's crazy or thinks he's crazy. So the accusation of mental suggestion could be ruled out or should be ruled out here. An Orthodox Jewish rabbi sat down with Nathan and asked him every question. When Nathan would tell him something, the rabbi would stop him. What do you mean by that? Nathan wouldn't skip a beat. He would explain to this rabbi, this rabbi, he's like, by the time they're done, he's, he's whiteheaded because Nathan told him things that usually it takes rabbis a lifetime to learn. So here we are in the blog that said, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, the guy said it three times that Obama was Gog of Magog. Three times he said it, and he said, and it was divided by between him and, something I didn't say last night, was the Pope. So we there's a lot there that I can't get to, that I can't recall, but I'm going to do my best to tell you some of the other things that I have to tie this in if you'll bear with me. Okay, one is, uh, you know, I've had two prior blogs that ironically, both rabbis, one, his dream couldn't be read until a year after his death, but he had the dream during the time that the prime minister, he said that it would come when the prime minister died. Well, the prime minister wasn't even sick. But yet, when he had that dream and wrote it down, the prime minister died. Didn't die. He was at a comma for eight years, seven or eight years. And then he died from the comma. And then this rabbi died a year later. And then his prophecy was read a year later. So there's a vision. And there's another rabbi that sees the same thing. He sees the end of times. He sees and said, and also two of them said, that Benjamin Netanyahu will be the last prime minister of Israel. He will build, and he was clear to say, and make it clear, the tabernacle of David. He didn't say the temple of God. He said the tabernacle of David. But he did say that he would do it. And... A little more confirmation there. I guess if you hadn't heard it today, you hadn't really watched anything. Benjamin Netanyahu turned Obama down twice, said, I don't care for meeting with you. You just take your meetings and go meet somebody else. Me and you are done. Netanyahu told Obama no, twice, no. And even though Kerry wants to come, well, he's going to waste his time and his breath. 
Benjamin Netanyahu is done. And I think he's done is because God is telling him he's done with America. So let me go on a little bit more now. There's another one. There's a lady that was on the Sid Roth show. I won't go through the whole thing, but her name is Clarice. And um, she had TB, asthma, allergies for 13 years and had to sleep for that 13 years sitting upright in a chair because she could not lie down because if she did, she couldn't breathe. And I know, I personally know people that are in that situation today. But then she was healed instantly of that. She also was healed when her little sister, or her daughter, I'm sorry, her daughter had a finger severed. She rushed her daughter to the hospital, and then they said, where's the finger? We might can get it back on. And then she said, oh, I didn't bring it. She calls her daddy and said, find my daughter's finger. He said, well, I put it in the trash. She said, get it and bring it to the hospital. Brought it down, sewed it on, and the girl woke up feeling no pain, went home that day, and the next day, She's supposed to get a bath, but yet her finger's bandaged. Can't get it wet. Got to keep it up here. So when they come back to check on her, her mother left her to run, grab a phone, and came back. That bandage was floating in the tub. And her mother said, oh, my God. And she looked at it, and the finger was in the bandage. But the little girl had also grown a new finger during, a, during that few minutes. So Clarice... She's in the know and she's in the right place right now with God. Now, here's another thing that Clary says. And this is one that, that ties, in my opinion, a lot of this together. Another verification, number four, verification of, of what's going on here. She said she has never in her life sang, never rapped, never cared about rap. And, and never was able to write poems, never tried, but it came to her in a vision. And she said, and it's something that God told me to tell. He said, but I want you to tell it in this form, in this way. So then Sid Ross said, well, will you tell us? She said, I'll be glad to. These are her words. It was a rainy night in September, and I remember it well because we were singing songs in church, and suddenly I began to tell. Because God said he had a little BB, a man in the plan, in the midst of the land, and he said, now is the time, is never before, for he will be like David, and he will know what's in store. And his cry will be night and it will be day. You cannot have the land. You cannot take it away. So what she says there, not quite understanding it, but it's BB telling everybody they cannot have the land. So that's out of her mouth. And, and last, I have little BB and he's in store. He's more powerful than a nuclear warhead because this little man will do what God said. Look, there's too many things happening in so many odd ways. But the final blood moon, so much happened in, in Israel. So much. That you don't know half of it. And then people like this coming forward, and I've got a whole thing of it, you know, just on and on and on. I guess you can't see it there, but it goes a long way down. And, um, and also I have the notes I cannot access on my email because it's shut down on me. But, there's three rabbis. There's this little boy who spoke, by the way, well above what the rabbi, the rabbi couldn't keep up with him. So the boy spoke in words. The rabbi had to question him over and over and over to understand what he was saying. 
The boy was full of knowledge, the one that had died and gone. He just said he first re remembers seeing the earth below him is just getting further away. And then he looks forward and sees that he's entering heaven. And uh, anyway, I'm going to stop it there. But the boy did say this. And I, again, I don't have my notes to look at and tell you. And But I hopefully I'll get it taken care of tomorrow. Um, th there will be a division of Israel. Not only a division, there will be multiple countries come against the Jews. But they'll mostly die. A lot of Jews will die. Now, some people are confusing this war with Ezekiel 38, 39. But then somebody said, no, that's not right. That's not right. It doesn't line up time-wise. But what this boy says is that millions will die. This war will be a two-week war, and millions will die. They'll be in the creeks, the rivers, on the mountains, and the side of hills, on the hillsides. They'll be dead everywhere. And he, he also said that... Uh, or he was getting into, and then somebody's trying to interpret for him what he was trying to say, and I'm not so sure how right they were or weren't. I don't know at this time. That those who joined together, the United States, the leader, Russia, they even said South Korea, they said Iran, they said there were 70 countries in that war, but five of them divided Israel, and they were all after one thing, oil. So today, with the way prices are, things may change in a dr dramatic way in the next week, but the way things are going, oh, by the way, one more thing, the man asked him, the rabbi asked him, said, when did he say this would happen? And the boy said, it's imminent. He said, what do you mean by imminent? Six or six years, seven years? The boy said, imminent. He said, explain imminent to me. And the boy said, one month, maybe two months, just like that. So if you go by the one or the two months, then April the 13th looks like a day that we all might be looking at and be ready for just in case Jody Wolf exposed.